Mildew and drought-resistant grapevines have been planted in South Australia's Coonawarra wine region to help protect the wine industry from climate change and disease threats. For more, we're joined by Ben Harris from Treasury Wine Estates. Ben, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Emma. How did this all come about? Um, this is, is really exciting. It's basically decades of work. So for years we have been, we have been selecting the best vines from our best heritage vineyards. And then in more recent years, we've been selecting individual vines that, that have sort of climate re resilience trait, drought tolerance, you know, handle very well in extreme weather. Um, and I suppose simultaneously, Syro have been working on um, grape vines that are resistant to downy and powdery mildew. And in 2022, um, we formed a partnership and we brought these all these activities together to to basically breed vines that are resistant so we don't have to spray for downy and powdery mildew, but also set up well to, you know, to basically take on a changing climate. So what's the situation now? So you've got these uh, grape vines together. Now what? Um, well, in December in 2020, last year in 24 um, we have, but the first round of offspring so we had 99 vines that we planted in Coonawarra so now we'll, we'll in the field we'll assess the performance you know we'll look at the how these vines work the quality of the fruit um, and how they perform um, before selecting the best few vines and then we'll propagate them out to plant new vineyards. What about the taste Ben that's what everyone's th thinking and worried about? That's the most important, and we've got, you know, our, our wine makers. So that's their that's their focus to make sure we, you know, with a changing climate that we make we make great and amazing wine now, but we we are able to do so into the future. In terms of mildew, but also the um, the possible effects of climate change, what sort of cost would this be to the industry if you didn't take these steps to propagate these vines? Um, well, climate change is impacting everyone, so if we don't react and adjust. Um, you know, there is going to be an impact. So for us to sort of use breeding as a way to mitigate against a changing climate, I think is really important. Um, and, you know, downy and powdery mildew are common um, diseases that impact every wine region. And if we can not have to spray um, to protect our vines, um, not only does it remove the sprays, but it also removes our, you know, tractor use and carbon emissions as well. So, you know, there's the sustainability benefit as well as, um, you know, future proofing our vineyards. Ben, have you been working on particular varieties of grape or is it across the board? Um, at this stage, we're working on Cabernet. So we've basically selected the best vines within our best heritage vineyard, our Johnson's Vineyard. Um, and so the, um, the parents of this breeding are, are Cabernet. Hey Ben, well we will all be watching very keenly and if you any, need anyone to taste test, uh, I'm your girl. Uh, ben, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Really interesting work, we appreciate it. No worries, thank you.